One thing that makes life on Earth possible is a thin layer of gases called the atmosphere. It holds in the air we breathe and protects us from the cold of outer space. When energy in the form of light reaches us from the sun, it streams through the atmosphere, making plants grow and lighting up our days. In addition to light, the sun also delivers heat, which warms the planet. But much of that energy is reflected back towards space. Fortunately, though, the Earth's atmosphere works like a blanket, preventing a lot of heat from escaping. In fact, if the Earth didn't have its atmospheric blanket, its average temperature would be about minus 18 Celsius, or zero Fahrenheit. Brrr. Thanks to the atmosphere, the Earth's average temperature is a much more livable 15 Celsius, about 59 degrees Fahrenheit. One of the gases in Earth's blanket is called carbon dioxide, or CO2. Carbon dioxide is everywhere on Earth, actually, and it's an important part of Earth's delicate balance of life. It's what animals, including us, exhale after they breathe in oxygen. Plants then use carbon dioxide, along with sunlight, to grow and make more oxygen for us to breathe. A lot of carbon dioxide is also absorbed by the oceans. The carbon dioxide that's left over floats up into the atmosphere and helps form our planet warming blanket. But there's a problem. Scientists have observed that the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has been steadily rising over the last hundred years, soaring high above anything the Earth has seen for hundreds of thousands of years. All the plants in the world, as well as the oceans, can absorb all the extra carbon dioxide in the air. So consider this. Have you ever put on too many blankets at night? If you've woken up hot and clammy, then you know how the Earth feels when it has more carbon dioxide than it can handle. Scientists now know that excess carbon dioxide and some other gases in smaller amounts are preventing heat from escaping, and this is warming up the planet. They call it the greenhouse effect. Remember that graph of average temperature rise since 1880? Check out this graph of carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere since 1880. Now let's look at them both. See how they're rising together? That's because as carbon dioxide goes up, the temperature does too. They're directly connected. In the next video, we'll take a closer look at where all this extra carbon dioxide is coming from.